Okay, we need to get the medicine cabinet, which is in here, along to the new shed. Just need to clear it out and empty it. Guess what's frozen? The water. We have yet to put in the, the valve system to mitigate against this issue. That's why the pipes are frozen. Not all of them, thankfully. Hello, dog. She's coming. She's coming. One down. Kev's out churring through some hedges. Down there. Doing the insides of cropped fields today just with the hard frost not make a mess well, it's warmed up a touch it's maybe minus two or three it was minus four or five ah just been trying to defrost troughs we're getting there this is what the the, the valve system should not let happen this wasted time right now i basically nabbed the concept off of tom tom lamb he does it differently puts an airline onto his water and blows them all out which if my valves don't work I can just do it that way but I think my valves should work I've got a valve which is lowered in the hole of the shed or I will do open that up and it should siphon back all the water that's in the system should fingers crossed doing a bit of barley bruising now voila job done 12 ton Keep us going. Cows are just about out and then the beef cattle are just about out as well. So I'm gonna change the ration a wee bit for the cows just for when they're shifting on to silage. I'll shift to a different mineral so I'll mix that through the th oh this door is frozen shut. Oh. We'll get that mixed with minerals and protein just in the next few days or so. There's a pigeon. Get out of the shed. just made the pigeon 12 ton of grub so I don't think it's in the mood to leave the shed. Understandable. Bruisers off. Head off the yard two again to defrost some troughs. The joys of a Baltic cold minus six night. What a corker of a morning. It's minus six but it looks a beauty. Righty ho. The trailer, the Stuart trailer that went away to get the body of it sprayed, it's ready to pick up again. So just like that one, but with a cover on it and slightly older, uh, the body of it had paint issues. It's the older style paint. This is a new kind of flexi paint. It's got a wee bit of malleability to it and doesn't chip so easy. The old one was looking not great. Um, and sure, I've kind of admitted the older paint wasn't great. So when we bought the flatbed trailer, that one was in, part of the deal was that body of the older, 18 ton would get resprayed, so it's ready to pick up. Let's go fetch it. Oh, well. I won't be still into the middle of the next month or so. We snap the fingers and it'll be a brand spanker. Voila, she's back looking spick and span. And you know what? They've actually sprayed the chassis. Oh, man. This is either not my trailer and I've just picked up someone's brand spanker or they've sprayed the chassis as well, which wasn't part of the deal. It was just going to be the body. So I really can't complain at that. Thank you very much to Stuart's. They've done the whole shebang. All new decals, reflectors. They've obviously had all the oil pipes off, resprayed. Mint, mint. It basically looks a brand spanker to be fair. The only difference is there'll be a bit of wear on the brakes and the tires are not quite full. Quite a bit of wear on these tires, to be fair, actually. That'll put another 10 years on its life. This paint before, but it did have issues. It was struggling. Fresh lick of better paint, for sure. Nah, it's definitely ours. 2017. 
Good on them. Thank you very much, Stuart. We split the cost for them to do the body um, half and half when we bought the new flatbed and they went and did the chassis on their own backs. So thank you very much. Just let the air brakes fill up, take it back, get it in the shed. Actually, I'll just take the water out of it as well. It looks sparkling. Let me just rub the tires off the draw bar. Hold on. Yep, there we go. First bit of paint gone. Nobody talks to each other for fear of different opinions. Should be a space right there. Just check, I'm not going to hit anything. Get it parked up next to this trailer. Builders are building over there. So right in there, we're kind of doing, it's like a kind of outdoor canopy area matching the current picture of the entrance of the farm shop. It's gonna have kind of sprinkler system in it, it's gonna have plants in it, and it's just gonna be a bit of an outdoor covering area. This gate just got delivered yesterday. I've got some feed to take along here, so I'll just shove this in the trailer and get it along to the shed. It's the missing gate in the handling system, I think. Try not put a scratch in it. I think you'll find I brought this with me. Job done, see you tomorrow. Cheers. If you've not already, please subscribe and like the video. Makes me happy.